In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Enterprise Program. There's nothing difficult, but it's extremely important that you follow these steps exactly, or your keys and, and your domain name will not connect correctly. First off, we're going to go through and we're going to show you how to set up your domain names and your name servers. What you'll want to do once you have purchased the Enterprise Program and you have that set up, you're going to go into Manage, into Website, go into Website Branding, and Enterprise Settings. Now note here that you have to purchase a domain name separately from a company like GoDaddy.com. Let me highly recommend, if you're not real familiar with changing name servers and that kind of thing, that you go with GoDaddy.com. They're extremely easy to use. Their control panel is very easy to maneuver in. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today is using GoDaddy.com. First in, log into your account, go into the control panel under domains, click launch, and you can see here that I'm going to connect MobiAdvertisingGroup.net. Now something else I recommend, do your homework and get a very short URL, for this is the URL that will be connected to all of your clients' apps. But for training purposes, I will use MobiAdvertisingGroup.net. I'm going to go into MobiAdvertisingGroup.net. Right here where it says Name Servers, just click on Manage. We're going to go in and we're going to set this to Custom and Edit Name Servers. When you edit the name servers, you will put in ns1.textmarketingservices.com and ns2.textmarketingservices.com. Very important that these are spelled correctly. Click Edit, and you can see that the name servers have been set. Click Save. Now, when this takes you back to this page, give it about 10 or 15 minutes, and it usually will propagate. It could take up to 24 hours, but I've never had it take longer than about 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to put our domain name in, and we're going to click Update Now. Now your name servers have been set. Everything is ready to go as far as your name servers go. Now I want to show you how to set up your Facebook app ID. First off, you have to log into your main account, wherever all of your uh, fan pages are located, sign into your main account. We're going to go up here to Apps. We're going to create a new app. Now you don't have to put in app namespace or the web hosting. All you need to do is put in the app name. And over here it will tell you if it's valid or not. If it's not valid, then you have to put in another name. Click Continue. Of course, put the security check in. Click Continue. Now, there's a couple of things here. You're going to see that your what your contact email is. Uh, you can change that if you want, but this comes directly from your hosted account, your Facebook account. Now, we're going to put in the app domain. The app domain needs to be the domain name, MobiAdvertisingGroup.net, of the uh, site that you're using. You need to disable sandbox mode. And now we're going to go down here where it says website with Facebook login. We are going to put the domain name again that you're using. In this place, you need to make sure you put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot your domain that you're using. For example, mobiadvertisinggroup.net. Click Save Changes. And you can see here that my secret code and my app ID have been created. I'm just going to copy and paste those, and I'm going to put my Facebook app ID here, and my Facebook app secret key here, and I'm going to click Update Now. Now we're going to go in and set up the Twitter API key. Log into your Twitter account that you're going to be uh, connecting to. Once you're logged in, go up here to the right-hand corner, and you'll see this little red box. Click on that. Click on My Applications, and you can see here I've got one application already created, but I'm going to create a new application over in the right-hand corner. 
And I'm going to put my name, demo, and I'm going to put a little short description. I used to demo the enterprise API key. The website name, once again, this needs to be http colon forward slash forward slash www dot your domain name. If you do not put the colon forward slash www and your domain name, these APIs will not work correctly. And we're going to put a callback URL. This callback URL is extremely important that you put it in exactly this way. It'll be http colon forward slash forward slash www your domain name forward slash members forward slash twitter callback dot php. Make sure this is spelt correctly. If this is not correct, your API will not work. Here is the site URL. It's http colon forward slash forward slash www.yoursiteurl.com.net.mobi, whatever it is, your site URL forward slash members forward slash Twitter callback dot PHP. Very important that this is correct. Now we're going to come in, we're going to put the caption in. We're going to create the Twitter application. Now we've got to change a couple of settings. You see this says read only. We've got to change that to read write. So we're going to come down and we're going to go into settings. We're going to make sure all this is correct right here. And we're going to click on read and write. It's currently set to read only. Click read and write. And then we're going to click on allow this application to be used. Okay. Now we're going to update the Twitter application. We're going to go back. Now you can see here it says access token access token secret. We're going to copy and paste these into our control panel. Come over and you're just going to copy and paste. Click update now and you're ready to go. Now you can see here right here that my URL is now mobiadvertisinggroup.net forward slash whatever your app is. Remember what I said. Do your homework. Try to make this as short as possible, for this will be the URL that directs people to their mobile apps. This is concluded setting up the enterprise program. I wish you the best of luck. If you will follow this video step by step, then you will not have any problems setting up your enterprise program. If you have any questions, please submit a ticket to the support and help program. Thank you and have a great day.